Hey guys, what is up? I am happily back in the office after working in my patio garden with all my new succulents. Maybe you saw the video, maybe you didn't. And uh, I wanted to come back and kick out uh, maybe a video, maybe two. Um, this is for the uh, Tigers, uh, the Tigers bookshelf. Uh, we're gonna do the Hierophant reading. The Hierophant reading. The Hierophant reading. I'm gonna be using my Pagan Otherworlds, man. I'm gonna be going back to my most of all time favorite deck, and you're gonna witness me doing it, man. You're gonna witness me doing this goddamn thing. I'm so excited. So excited. Beautiful box from Christine Waters. Bunny Kisses 1K. My God, she makes a goddamn good box. Custom made, man. Custom goddamn made. Look at the Ace of Cups in there, man. I'm all over that. I'm all over that. Okay, let's get squared away. This is the Hierophant reading. Whoo, man, I haven't touched these uh, cards in a while. I miss them, man. Whoo, listen to that. You hear that? You hear that? God, ooh, that's the devil, baby. That's the devil. Who you know that's serving you right. That's serving you right by telling you what is not serving you, right? You know what I'm talking about. All right, here we go. The Hierophant Reed. And, ooh, these are a wide deck. I haven't touched these in a couple weeks. I'm glad to have you back, Pagan Other Worlds. Here we go. The Hierophant Reading. Position number one. Hope these uh, lights are going to be all right. Uh, we'll check it out. How has tradition affected my life? Every time I look down, that sort of lightens up, right? Maybe I'll just sort of put the deck right there so I'm not... I'll put the book right down here. Uh, this is from the Rachel Pollock book. Uh, you know what I'm talking about. If you don't... Pull your shit together, guys. I'm doing the Tiger's Bookshelf readings along with the rest of you fine tarot peeps. All right, the Hierophant reading. Uh, this is only six positions. How has tradition affected my life? Let's get to it. She just looks like a talking head. Everything's so black here. Everything is so black. Okay, here we go. How has tradition affected my life? Oh, my goodness gracious me. There we go. We got the Five of Cups reversed. That means it's moving on time. That means it's moving down. That means it's turning around. All right. I love the fi I love fives, guys. I know a lot of people got a lot of shit. They got a lot of problems with the fives, but they're such wonderful gems with the fives. The fives means that it's being stuck. <laughs> it's being stuck in that mourning, that loss of the things that aren't working for you. But whenever it comes in reversed, it means like it's not serving you at all. So how has tradition affected me in my life? I'll tell you what, the, the straight down the path, the way I was brought up, the religion, I just, it just, it conflicted with me. It conflicted with me. It just did not work for me. That how tradition does not work for me at all, man. It just didn't. Uh, there was no light at the end of the tunnel. There was no empowerment. There was no universal love. There was no God force that just showed you unconditional support and guidance. So tradition did not serve me in the past, and I kind of got stuck there for a while. Thus the reversed five of cups. All right. Position number two. What's going on here? What have I learned? Lulu, Oh my goodness, the chariot. We're going to hopefully get to that chariot reading later. What have I learned? I learned that you are in control. I am in control. It is I that makes the definition of God that serves me so that I can then align with what I consider is the most beneficial aspect of how I can live my life so that I can affect it to the most positive way that I can, all right? The chariot in this position I absolutely adore. What have I learned? That you are in control, that we're not victims, all right? That's the tradition. This is what the tradition taught me that like the, the world is working against you. You're either blessed or you're not blessed. What I've learned from it is like, no, it's completely neutral, man. It depends on your attitude. It depends on your choices that, that's going to determine your path through this life. That's absolutely what I have learned. Position number three, how have I broken with tradition? Well, I can tell you I've broken with it significantly. How can I bro? Oh, the Hierophant right there. <laughs> the Hierophant shows up in its own reading. How have I broken with it? It is now normally when it comes in reverse, it means creating your own tradition. But this, how I have broken with tradition is just literally, I just think it's straightforward. This is a literal re representation of a mirror of just me saying, this is now where I'm going. 
This is one of those wonderful positions that in the Hierophant reading, when the Hierophant shows up, whether it comes in reversed, it's as if it's coming in straight up. And if it comes in straight up, it's as if it comes in reverse. So it happened to come up straight up. The Hierophant making a beautiful appearance in this Hierophant reading. How have I broken with tradition? It is just saying, no, I am on my own journey. I'm going to make my own definition of that which we call the divine. And I got to tell you, I feel so in line with my definition of how I interpret what is divine in this world. Oh, the Hierophant showing up in the Hierophant reading. I love it so much. How about number four? What effects has it had on my life? Lu -lu -lu. Oh my goodness, King of Cups. That's exactly right. It keeps me, it keeps me this. It keeps me this. This King of Cups, I talk about it. This comes up in so many readings for myself. The King of Cups, the ruler of the emotion. You know what I mean? This this always sort of making the balance, you know, trying to balance the uh, aspect of being in charge, but also balance the aspect of being the creative one, okay? So the effect that it has had on my life is to just always sort of kind of keep me on my toes. This Hierophant reading is always kind of keeping me kind of thinking to myself, feeling to myself, where are you in your life? Don't look at somebody else to define it for you. You got to feel, you got to think how your life is turning out for yourself by your own definition of it. I love that King of Cups, man. It comes up in more times than I can count, honestly, especially in these in these uh, Tiger's uh, bookshelf uh, readings of the Major Arcana, man, no doubt. Card position number five, what do I have to teach others? What do I have to teach others? Come on, Hierophant reading, let's do this. Oh my goodness, well, you love a seven. You love a seven. Victory, success. This is that magnificent seven of wands, all right? This is the doing. This is the fire. This is the moving forward with confidence. This is keeping your head above it. This is knowing that you're sort of in charge of however you're deciding, however I'm deciding that I'm creating my own belief system around my particular life. That is absolute. That's what I'm trying to teach others. Man, that is no lie. I adore it. Look at it. It gets small and it gets big. But this is the most beautiful seven of wands, man. The active, keeping above it, success, victory. You are in charge of your life. I love you, fire card. Oh, my God. I love a delicious, I love a delicious wands card right there, man. What do I have to teach others? You get a wand card in there. You got to be kidding me, man. How about this last position right now? We're going to keep this video under nine minutes. I love it. How can I fulfill this rule? It's going to be right here. I trust, I trust the quantum dynamic nature of the universe to just know that this card is it. How can I fulfill this role? Blah, da, do. There it is right there, man. The nine of wands. Reversed. How can I fulfill this role? I love the Nine of Wands. Let's talk about it like this first, right? The Nine of Wands. This is just like the abundance of so much doing. This is like considering it, doing it in a new way, considering a new aspect of it. That's how I can fulfill this role, man. I love that we're coming in after this Seven of Wands. How, well, what can I teach other people? And then this, how can I fulfill this role? By just saying you can do the same thing you're doing, but you can do it in a little bit different way. You can reframe, you can change your perspective, and you can just accomplish so much more. And most importantly, man, pull that cups energy in there and just feel so much better at it. I love it. Thank you, Hierophant Reading. Thank you, Zach from the Tigers Abyss for uh, initiating these fantastic uh, major arcana readings from the Tarot Wisdom. I hope you guys are doing well, and I'll catch up with you later. Bye.